So we have a, a hypnotherapist who is uh, seeing one-on-one -on -one clients, and we'll just put that over here, one-on-one, uh, -on -one. and uh, we'll put groups over here. And so when they when they see a person, you know, one on one, everything seems to go great. But when they have a group session, you know, here's here's the here's the hypnotherapist here. Here's the client. So in the group session, here's the hypnotherapist, and the clients are all these people, a whole bunch of people in an audience. You know, usually uh, fifty or or more people in an audience. And so these are all the clients now. And you have to make changes. You have to, you know, when you when you have just one client, you can talk. You can say, okay, Joe, I know that you're having a challenge with with this, and you're having a challenge with that person. You can name the person, uh, and or if they're smoking, you know, I know at these times you smoke. Uh, but think about doing a group stop group stop smoking session. Well, if if Joe's smoking, then we know what time he smokes. Uh, we know the people he smokes with. We know the brand of cigarettes he smokes. We know his triggers that are causing it. These people, although they may have filled out questionnaires, uh, if you do a session, a group session that's broadcast from a microphone or from you being in the front of the room, it's for everyone, you're not going to be able to have all of their individual situations in, encapsulated in that because it wouldn't make sense. Because what applies to this person does not apply to that person. What applies to that person does not apply to this person. And it can actually uh, interfere with the therapy. So you do get a watered down effect. It's sort of like the difference between going to a hypnotherapist who's talking about your situation and using a hypnotherapy recording. The hypnotherapy recording is a, is a canned session. It's a session that's got all the bells and whistles in it. It's got all the highlights of what would normally happen uh, for a smoker, but it's not specific about you. So it has a lower percentage of success than a session or a recording that is about you about you, the client. So that's probably why that's going on. So you have to accept that. You have to realize that your percentage of success, the efficacy of the overall uh, session is going to decrease. That's just natural. It has nothing to do with the skill of the hypnotist. It has everything to do with the parameters of the situation. You have too many people with too many specific things to weave them all in, and they, and they wouldn't be appropriate to do that anyway. So that's why that's happening. You should expect some success here though. You should expect, I would say, at least a 20% success rate. At least 20% of, uh, of these folks would stop smoking or, or lose weight or, or whatever it is you're working on. Usually weight loss or, stop smo or smoking cessation are the, the, two, the two hot ones that people do in hotels. You know, weight loss is at 11 a.m. at the Hilton and stop smoking is at 1, at 1 p.m., something like that. Um, you should expect it at least, I'd say, 20% uh, success rate with this. Um, you can also give them uh, a recording of the session, which is going to raise that uh, even more if they listen to the recording. Uh, you can offer one-on-one -on -one follow-ups, but I would be very clear and explain all this to them that you know, you're not guaranteeing results. It's going to be a group session. If you want to come and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, that's going to cost a little more than this, but it's going to be more powerful. But who knows? Hopefully this will work for you.